Hey everyone, so many of you guys requested this finger coil tutorial. This was actually my first time doing it. It wasn't perfect, but it definitely came out really, really nice in the end. So I'm starting off with freshly shampooed and conditioned hair. I'm going to be working in medium sized sections, taking that back section and splitting it into two. So for this tutorial, you want to make sure that your hair is soaking wet, like really, really wet. Next, I'm following up with a leave-in. I'm just going to apply that all over the section, really working it in, making sure all the hairs are covered. Next, I'm following up with a moisturizer, and I'm doing the same thing, just applying it all over the section and really working it in, making the section a little bit smaller so that all the product gets all over my hair. I never forget my ends. Once that's on my hair, I go ahead and detangle it using a wide tooth comb. So I'm going to make that section a little bit smaller, adding some more water because my hair wasn't wet enough. And then I'm following up with some gel and finger detangling as I go. I swear I'm hitting the floor. So now I'm going to be working in small to medium sized sections to make my coils. So you want to make sure that section is really, really smooth. So I'm taking a Denman brush and I'm brushing it out. So starting at the roots, I'm twisting. And once I get about an inch down, I'm going to begin coiling. So everyone uses a different technique and this was my first time doing this and I wasn't sure which technique to use because I've seen so many videos. But you want to coil the hair with one hand and hold the length of the hair with the other hand. So that's what they're starting to look like. So again, splitting the section. Coiling at the roots, I didn't twist at the root this time because I was trying something a little bit different. But you can twist at the root or you can coil at the root. The smaller the section, the longer it will take you to do your coils. The bigger the section, the faster you'll be done. But it all depends on your hair type and the density of your hair. My hair is really thick and really kinky, so I had to go with smaller sections, which took a really long time and a lot of work. I could swear it's been 700 degrees in here. So what I'm doing here is I'm holding the top section with one hand and coiling with the other hand. And I had to do this a few times just because my my hair wasn't holding. So once I got the hang of doing the coils, I was able to move a little bit faster. So for example, some of my coils didn't come out very well, so I had to reduce a few of them. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm just retwisting this section because it has a bit of a bump. So again, spraying my hair with some water. You want to make sure that your hair is really, really wet for this. So following up with my leave-in, my moisturizer, and my gel, I just go ahead and make sure that section is covered in all of those products, and then I make a small section and begin coiling. So you want to make sure that the roots are nice and tight. If you don't have tight roots, you're going to end up with really puffy hair and the results probably won't be what you want. And as I mentioned before, the smaller the better, but it will take longer. And it all depends on your hair type. If you have looser curls, then you can definitely get away with doing maybe six big coils. But if you have kinkier hair and a lot more hair, you may have to do a lot more coils. So this is what my hair is looking like. I definitely have a few sections that are a little bit puffy, but the end results were perfect. So 
So at night, I just covered my hair with a bonnet and now I'm just removing it. And this is what my hair looks like. Really soft and shiny and my hair dried clear. So I'm just going in with some oil and just smoothing that all over my hair to add some shine and also to help with any frizz. So I do have a few sections that are puffy. So what I'm doing is just splitting that section into two and then I'm going to lightly wet my fingers with some water to reactivate the curls and then recoil it. So any sections that are like really fuzzy or look a little weird, you can always just recoil it. And it doesn't take much time to recoil. So you want to separate the hair where it naturally wants to separate. So this is what my hair looks like after I've removed all my coils. As you can see, some sections are really, really pretty and other sections are a little bit fuzzy, but it's okay. So this is what my hair looks like. I wasn't a fan of how it looked, so I decided to put it up. So I'm just sectioning off the front section. Spraying the sides of my hair and the back. I'm going to be using an old stocking to put my hair up. I'm just adding some gel and smoothing that in. Using a soft brush to brush everything up. Once my puff is created, I'm just going to fluff it out, remove the clip from the bangs. And since my bangs are kind of long, I'm going to go ahead and bobby pin them just to create shorter bangs that are not in my eyes. So that is what my bangs are looking like. Just adjusting my puff a little bit. So to make this look a little bit sleeker, I'm going to put a silk scarf on, leave it on for about 10 minutes and then take it down. And then that's what my hair is looking like. So even though my coil out was a bit of a fail, I still managed to make it work by putting it up and leaving some hair down. So at night, I just cover my hair with a silk bonnet and a scarf, and I kind of just shake and fluff and repin my hair in the morning. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you guys give me a like, leave a comment, and subscribe to my channel for more videos, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Also, don't forget to check out my vlog channel. I post a new vlog every week. <music>